What's going on everyone? This is my top 10 abandoned explorations that I've done throughout the last few years. Or, or my favorite uh, abandoned explorations, I should say. Um, but this is the Henry River Mill Village, which is near the or Hickory, North Carolina area. And actually, I stopped to film this a few years ago on my way to Cherokee, North Carolina. And this is right off off the exit so if you ever want to go just remember it's the henry river mill exit and it just when you get off it's just a half a mile down the road and you'll start seeing these old houses or abandoned cabins and i knew they were going to fix it up i somebody had told me and, and make them into cabin rentals and i don't know if that ever came into development or fruition or not i don't know but cool place to walk around and check out uh, it was a part of it was used in the Hunger Games and it's said to be haunted so some people have claimed that there there's they had some paranormal experiences there so you know so maybe when you go you'll have some uh, well I did it myself so but it was still a fun experience Now, number two is Castle Mont Rouge in Rougemont, North Carolina. Now, sadly, there was a fence placed around this, but I was still able to film this. And I filmed this back in 2017. God, it was it was quite a climb. I remember driving my Mustang up this mountain road, and wow, I didn't I didn't think I was going to make it up, but it, it it was still fun. It's a very uh, Disney like fairy tale looking castle and uh, artist Robert Mahali uh, he's the one who sculpted it and then he just abandoned it he never finished it and he it said that he wants to finish it while his children are still young enough to enjoy it but it, it still doesn't seem like anything has happened so I don't know but you can tell this is one of the first <laughs> things I ever filmed I've uh, I'm still not perfect, but I've come a long way with my filming, as as you can tell. But now, number three is the abandoned Heritage USA, where televangelist tricksters Jim Baker and Tammy Faye Baker once owned, and of course they were, or at least Jim Baker more so was. Uh, pretty corrupt and um, ended up doing prison time so this place this what they what was referred to as the Christian Disneyland ended up uh, becoming a, a defunct uh, um, park you know so so it I think in the late 80s it it pretty much went under but there there's only now there's only the remains there's only you know little remnants of of what used to be there so it's still still very interesting uh it's you can still walk around and see some of it um but uh there's not too much left now you can kind of see some of the fake rock if you look out where the lake is you where the um where the water park was so. now number four is bell isle which is an island in the Richmond, Virginia area. And this island has the remains of an old mill on the island and has some Civil War history. This is where Union soldiers were held as prisoner of war back in the 1860s when the Civil War was going on. And some of the soldiers died on this island, were, you know, malnourished and died of hunger and for other reasons. And so, some say it's haunted because of some of these reasons and but as you can see you can walk around and see the graffiti on the buildings on the old mill and so um like i said if you're ever in the richmond area check it out now number five is lake shawnee which is said to be one of the most haunted parks not only in West Virginia, but in America as well. This park dates back to the 1920s. And, and there's uh, a couple rides there. There's the old uh, 
uh, Ferris wheel and uh, the old swing ride. Uh, and they're, you could look at them and tell they're extremely old looking, very vintage and have not worked in years. Now, the last time this park ran was in the... Well, I, I believe it ran from the 20s to the 60s and then it reopened for a few years in the 80s. And, but it didn't last long. So it's been closed for at least, uh, you know, uh, uh, three to four decades. But very creepy place. A lot of paranormal people uh, have done investigations there. And, and uh, yeah, so, so, so there's been a few videos there. So it was a lot of fun. I, I was so glad the guy let me. I had to pay a little money. Yeah, yeah, they charge you like 30, 35 bucks. So check it out sometime. Now, number six is what I refer to as the ice cream truck graveyard. Now, this is on the east coast of North Carolina. I just happened to find it, and uh, it was just a, an old I, I, abandoned salvage yard full of nothing but ice cream trucks from the 1970s. But uh, I want to go back on my way. I want to see if I can find this again and do a little bit because it was kind of a storm was coming, and I did this real quick. And I want to I want to stop and. Do a little bit better of a job if they're still there. I hope, you know, who knows? Somebody may have bought them. Ice cream trucks are sort of sought after by a lot of people, especially old ones like that. You know, people like to collect different things for whatever reason. And this is one of those uh, places that I was I was uh, really glad to find. And I had I had fun just with the little time I had to try to to film what I could. But uh, just by, by some of the one of those things that just happened by chance. But uh, they all looked old and vintage, and I don't. And I don't know who. Different people have asked me who owns it. I, 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 I don't have the slightest of, of any of the history. But they are very cool, though. Now, number seven is the ghost town of Thurman, West Virginia, which is once a prosperous coal mining town, up until the 1950s, I believe, and then. It, you know, it just, um, just how, how many of the uh, ghost towns became ghost towns in America. It just, you know, just, just by uh, different reasons, uh, the economy and coal and the rerouting of highways and cities and towns and, and different reasons, uh, it led to it being a ghost town. But now you can walk around and check out some of the ruins of the town see a couple of the old banks that are now abandoned of course and and see the beautiful west virginia mountains in the horizon and and just walk around and enjoy the place now number eight is the village subway or better known as raleigh underground in raleigh north carolina now this is an old basement pretty much it's not really a subway but this has a lot of cool rock and roll history in the 1980s actually it dates back to the 70s but in the 80s bands such as uh the ramones played there rem uh many other many other great notable music acts too uh they had an arcade down there and it just it's really cool there was just there were different bars and restaurants and and it had, I, for whatever reason, though, it it became defunct and people stopped going there. Now, number nine, we have the Stonewall Jackson School. Now, this is near Charlotte, North Carolina, actually in Concord. And this school was started in 1909 and was named after Confederate General Stonewall Jackson. Now, this school has some dark history. I, s several teenagers, in order to, to make the population, to, 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 I, to improve the population, they sterilized and, uh, several teenage kids and performed some uh, vasectomies on them. It, so, and and, and uh, there are other dark things that happened as well, from what I heard. Um, it's, it's supposedly haunted as well. Now this tower that I'm walking around, I don't know exactly. I, I, I didn't know if it was a guard tower or what. Somebody said it wasn't, uh, but um, 
Yeah, the skull is is it was it was cool walking around. I just hated there were fences around. There were some times there were some people would I guess take wire took wire cutters and cut some holes in the fences, but I still didn't want to get in any trouble. So I didn't I, I just kind of filmed through the holes as I, as I was doing here, as you can tell. But uh, I just I didn't want to get caught. You know, my luck I would get caught walking in one of the buildings, and I just didn't want that to happen. So, nevertheless, though, it's still cool to walk around and see the old history. And, and there's even an old church you can walk across the bridge, across the highway. Last but not least, at number 10, we have the old fugitive train crash remains in the North Carolina mountains. Now, this is where they filmed part of The Fugitive with Harrison Ford. And they this was where the famous train and bus... Uh, the, uh, where the bus and the train collide and for whatever reason they just left the train and the bus ruins there the the train engines are really cool looking and um, I'm surprised they didn't try to try to get it out of there but nevertheless they they kept it I'm glad they did it's cool to look at a, a lot of people are like I have, you know they thought it's kind of funny you know Hollywood how Hollywood would uh, as much as they're into environmentalism how they would just leave a heap of trash or a bunch of rubble there you know right along a river in the mountains but nevertheless they did it and it's a tourist site now a few people have filmed this but this is i had to make this number one because well one for one it's been my money maker i've made some money off this because i got a couple million views luckily off this uh, if I'd have known it was going to go viral, I would have worked a lot harder on it. <laughs> but it was one of my first videos, so it wasn't, uh, you know, the filming, my filming wasn't that good. But, I mean, it was kind of a gloomy day, so I, I, the, the, the film looks kind of, it looks nice, but it, I was just kind of reckless with the camera. But uh, I'm slowly getting better with that. <laughs> But it's a lot of fun to see. I've been a couple times to see it when I'm up in the Cherokee area. So I do believe it's in a town called Dillsboro, though. So uh, you can Google it if you ever want to and find it. It's not too hard. Like I said, it's, it's real close to Cherokee and where the casino is. Probably about 15 minutes away. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. See you next time.